Praise the Lord, hallelujah, on this evening, April 26, 2024, we've been having a lot of rain. Uh, I say it's over an inch so far since it started around 5 o'clock this morning, and the rain's supposed to end, I think, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, I mean, it's been off and on, and it's supposed to last till Monday. Today's Friday, and now I'll go to the theme of unleavened bread, and... This will be the last day on reading about the unleavened bread for this season. All right, I'm going to read from Amos chapter 4. I was trying to find a New Testament book, but I haven't read from the book of Amos for a long time. And it's one of many Bible verses on unleavened bread. And... I have other chapters, readings of Amos 3 back in September 1523, and see, I can you can see I haven't read from the book or recorded a video on Amos. And these are the national days going on today. Lord, we pray for the state of South Dakota. We pray for the governor and uh, uh, government and the leaders of South Dakota. May People's trust in South Dakota come to our growing personal relationship with your son, Jesus Christ. We pray for all the Jasons out there. I think I met uh, Jason, or is it Jonathan, um, at a local store in town. I had a good conversation about my bicycle. Anyways, he was a cool guy. I think it was Jason. But Anyways, we pray for all the Jasons out there. May each Jason, Gabriel, and uh, all the Australians out there. And uh, let's see what else. Well, I read a National Day thing about National Pretzel Day. You know, there's some Christian ties to that. It forms like a prayer when you're praying. It's like a pretzel. I I did that. I learned that at work today. Interesting. Uh, feel free to comment below on if you know more about the history of of a pretzel. Anyways, uh, these are the other National Days going on. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. As you can see, today will be the last day of the celebration of unleavened bread. Oh wait, it goes to the 29th. So, no, I'm gonna keep reading about the. Fr what? Why did I say that it was gonna be the last day? Anyways, um, and continue praying for this continued situation in Israel. I just updated this. This is probably the newest one. Iran's new warning to Israel. Lord, we pray for your intervention in that situation. We pray for peace between Iran and Israel. Come and let your peace fall in that area. Fall in that area. Come and let your peace fall in that region. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And these are all the videos that popped up in my feed today. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. All right, I'll read from the book of Amos, chapter 4 in the Old Testament, Minor Prophets. Word for Worldly Woman. Hear this word. You cows of Bashan, who are on Samaria's hill, who oppress the poor, who crush the needy, who say to their masters, Bring, so we may drink. My lord Adonai has sworn by his holiness, Behold, days are coming upon you, when he will drag you away with meat hooks, the last of you with fish hooks. You will go out through breaches, each woman straight ahead, and you will be cast to Harmon. It is the declaration of Adonai, Come to Bethel and transgress in Gilgal. Multiply transgression every morning. Bring your sacrifices and your tithes every three days. Offer up hamets as a thank offering. Call out about free will offerings. Boast about it, for you, for so you love to do. But not Israel, it is a declaration of my Lord Adonai. Then the next sector's theme is, Yet you have not returned. Verse 6. So also I myself have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and lack of bread in all your places. Yet you have not returned to me, declares Adonai. Also I myself have withheld from you the rain when three months rain to the harvest. I cause it to rain on one city, while in another city I sent no rain. Ironically, it's raining. One piece of ground would get rain, while the portion of not rain or wood weather. 
So two or three cities go staggering to one city to drink water, but would not be satisfied. Yet you have not returned to me. Declares that an eye struck you with blight and mildew, your many gardens and vineyards, your fig trees and olive trees, the locusts have devoured. Yet you have not returned to me, declares Adonai. I sent among you a plague in the manner of Egypt. I slew your young Mary by the sword, with your chariot horses in captivity. I made the stench of your camp rise up and even to your own nostrils. Yet you have not returned to me, declares Adonai. I overthrew some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You became like a firebrand snatched from a blaze, and yet you have not returned to me, declares Adonai. Then the last section theme is, Prepare to meet your God. Verse 12, Therefore there is what I will do to you, Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, Israel, for behold, he who forms mountains, who creates the wind, who declares his thoughts to man, who make dawn out of darkness, who walks above the heights of the earth, his name is Adonai, Elohai Tzavot. And that's verse 13 in the book of Exodus, I mean, no, Amos 4. The reason why I said Exodus is I'm currently reading the, watching a movie online. It's free, Exodus, Gods, and Kings. It's not really accurate to the Bible, but it gives you a different view of of a different perception of like the Ten Commandments. There's so many versions out there anyways. Um anyways I'll share a link of up to this movie after I watch this. Alright, God bless. Have a blessed weekend. Whatever time you watch this, may you have a blessed day, have a blessed evening and feel free to share any prayer requests and um continue praying. We pray for peace and presence of your Holy Spirit. In our homes, may there be peace in our homes, may there be peace in our schools, may there be peace in our nation, whatever nation you're from, or may there be peace in your world. And it's through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Come and let your peace fall in these places, fall in these places. Come and let your peace fall in these places. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.